Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very cool tarot reading. We start with the Hanged Man, and uh, yeah, there he is, and he is, um, he's in the reverse, or, right? He got down off his uh, his post. So with this deck, uh, we have two Hangmans and two everything else. This is the double, uh, the double Arcana, but let's see what else we have for him, or for you guys, for Capricorn. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, he is the traditional page. Let's see what else we have. And we have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is different here. So the Hangman in this deck, let's have a look at that Hangman right here. But, you know, he already got down uh, from his post, right, where he was hanging in order to figure something out. He's kind of accepting something there because he says, I don't need to hang up here on this. Here's a card, you guys. I don't need to hang up there on that. Uh, what's the point in that, right? Yeah, and let's have let's see what they say about that. And here it is. All right. A man freed from the rope. And, uh, and you know, excuse their, their English here a little bit, you guys, because this is, yeah. A man freed from the rope is lost in thought under the tree. He seems to make a puzzled look. He is thinking deeply while supporting his chin in his hand and doubting about why he has been hanging from the tree so far, not leaving from the place. Okay, he's, okay. Or maybe it's boring because his goal has not been achieved yet. But the work was ended sooner than expected. The tree bloom flowers overnight. The pastime may have been wasted, and he may regret that he was too hung up on something that could have been easily solved. Only he will know the answer himself. Yeah, this person, uh, somebody, Capricorn, uh, maybe you, uh, is kind of like regretting taking, kind of regretting taking so long to decide something or settle something. And the Page of Cups is... Uh, you know, it's about a new start or usually a messenger, right? It can be about somebody who trusts their intuition. Sometimes it's a child, but, uh, you know. And we have the Hierophant, and he is really deep in thought. He has his rosary in his hand and, you know, these Easter lilies down here. I think you call them that. Uh, yeah, he's super in thought here. And we saw the Hanged Man over here who was really in thought. So let's look at that Hierophant, yes, uh, because because he's different. Yeah, he is, and, you know, and so this is, it's after dark, and Hierophant is still sitting alone in a chair. <laughs> the people who are caring for him left, and on, only the circlets of flower they wore are on the floor. Circlets? Okay, they seem to have broken their duties and left. The Hierophant is absorbed in thoughts for a while, tired of the situation. He looks so exhausted that he closed his eyes and rolls the rosary in his hand while thinking carefully about the answer. Even the Hierophant, who once owned the highest authorities in the world, is in trouble alone, and he is currently at a loss. Of course he will make a breakthrough and overcome the problem, but who can give him advice for now? Because he is the foremost authority. He's not used to taking others' advice. Okay, so somebody's tired of something, and they are tired. You or your person is tired of something? Like, it took too long, uh, and, you know, why did I hang out so much? The hanged man, right? Why did I... Excuse me, you guys. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> oh, God. you guys forgive me? Okay. So why did I hang out so long? Let's see what else we have, uh, Capricorn. And let's get a few of these cards. Uh, the Lenormand. We have the thief. The thief is, it can be about a recognizing, uh, it can be about recognizing something, but it can sometimes be a third party, but he's stealing. It's about loss. He's stealing his watch, right? Mm -hmm. And this man is, you know, <clears throat> is rich, uh, or he so looks it, right? <clears throat> so this is about loss. Uh, this is recognizing that I have to accept a loss or maybe move on from one, yeah, or I take a loss, right? And the same thing. We have the fox, and he's looking back on what he has done, uh, and, you know, the chicken is hanging out of this, uh, this chicken house over here. It's really hard to see, but I feel like he is. But anyway, uh, you know, he's looking back here, the fox, at what he has done. And it's possible he doesn't want somebody to see what he's doing. But, mm -hmm. and, you know, somebody could have, like, it's possible that somebody was acting this way in the past. Because there's something about, like, the, the fox. Maybe, you know, somebody was, like, you know, a trickster here. <clears throat> it's possible, and they could be, it's possible that they are, you or your person, Capricorn, is like, 
maybe why did I do that? Possibly, right? The Page of Cups is here. The page comes very authentically and honestly, right? Let's get another card. We have the Pathway. This is about a, about a brand new beginning that begins at the end of a journey here, of like a path, right? The path is long, but at the end, and the butterflies are here. This is kind of like, I'm going to have a new beginning. <clears throat> and, you know, uh, it's a number eight. Interesting, the 35. And, uh, you know, we're in an eight year. We are. And we have the lovers. Okay. So this is about two people who are in love with each other. It is because uh, these statuettes are. And, yeah. And I'm going to have to maybe cover those. But here's the lovers. Uh, and it's a six. It's also recognizing something. That fox is a number 14, which is something challenging somebody regrets what they did here i'm pretty sure here that's really what this is coming to and let's see what else we have and if you guys want to see these cards right and yeah the pathway <coughs> and we'll move this over at capricorn and let's move this up just a little bit here you guys can see these cards uh and these are uh, you know, naked people, but I think it's okay. Maybe I should cover that a little bit, right? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Uh, but yeah, here they are making out together. And, you know, these are statues, right? But the doves are here and the doves are there as well. Uh, like as another couple, right? <laughs> yeah. And so we have Grace. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and she's in front of the tree of life. And she is, this is about uh, it has to do with uh, gratitude, but beauty. And she is experiencing uh, the beauty of the tree. And there is a bird there. And she, this is grace, yeah. And this is also something challenging that brings somebody to understand uh, the beauty and the grace in their life. And then we have divine light. Yeah, see, somebody received divine light here, right? So they could see the light. Yes, they did. Uh, yeah, and so let's see what we have, uh, Capricorn, in this reading. Hope you guys are well. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and anybody else who resonates with it, because they are for the collective. And we'll do a past, present, and future. If you'd like your own psychic reading, they're very empowering. They're accurate. I'm a silver grad. They're really fun. It's an experience, right? And so, yeah, and yeah, they are. And uh, it could be about you or anybody, really. And what else? We do them uh, over a video call. We do. Usually we can do them on the phone if you'd like. Uh, but, mm hmm And what was I going to say? We do a tarot spread at the end if you would like that. Three of Swords in the past, Four of Wands. Okay. So with the Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords in the past, the thief is here. The thief is creating loss. And, <clears throat> you know, somebody feels alone. This Hierophant feels alone and everybody left. So, you know, this could be somebody who broke up with somebody. It could, especially next to the here, uh, next to the thief. Uh, and somebody could have been, you know, and the lovers are here and the divine light, all this stuff. You know, somebody took a long time to make a decision and they, and they say to themselves, why? Why did I take so long? This was easier. This was an easier thing than I thought. Yeah, it was. Uh, although they kind of feel alone. They're tired of feeling alone. That's what that hierophant was about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. very interesting let's see what else we have queen of cups eight of pentacles and the king of cups okay so maybe we have a divine couple right here uh we have maybe pisces cancer and scorpio right the strength card is leo mm -hmm. uh this knight of swords sometimes can be you know a gemini aquarius or libra so in the past somebody took action and they cut out some type of a relationship here four of wands right maybe they cut out a third party here they could have uh somebody got left here because somebody's in love capricorn somebody's in love here with you because we have that lover's card for sure the pathway is about a new beginning grace divine light uh somebody gets left here interesting how we are coming to uh the libra full moon and you know that can be about i don't want this relationship anymore right Full moons can be endings and new beginnings. And, you know, Libra really is uh, mostly based on relationships. The seventh house of partnerships, right? Romantic or otherwise. Uh, but it is really about that. Yes, it is. It's about love. Venus rules, uh, rules out love and beauty. And so, uh, but, you know, maybe a relationship is ending. 
some relationships will end at this time they really will with this full moon solar eclipse in, and I'll have a video on that uh, on Wednesday right on my other channel uh, I will post the link here uh, but at the top of the comments where I do and so you know and some people may be leaving relationships uh, during this eclipse because they don't feel like they're getting a fair shake with somebody or they're just overextending themselves like giving too much in order to try to create balance and that is really kind of what it, what that is about yeah it is uh, and the solar eclipse are about the future yeah they are mm -hmm. so let's get a card here uh, let's see what we have right here Capricorn in the uh, current energy is this eight of Pentacles sitting in the in right here in the uh, in the heart of the matter this is about somebody who is like devoted here. Somebody who's in love. Eight of Pentacles. I want to do my best. And I'm, I'm in. I'm devoted. He's devoted to his job right here. And so we saw the pathway and the lovers. So we know that this, that's what this reading is about. Yes, it's about something that ends. That somebody took too long to, to end something. And maybe they're worried you're not going to be around, Capricorn. Yeah, because somebody is saying to themselves, with that hangman and the hierophant, somebody in this reading is saying to themselves, I took too long uh, to do that. And uh, mm -hmm. and the hierophant uh, also has to do with, <coughs> I feel like it also has to do with, yeah, somebody was, you know, they left somebody alone. Yeah, it's about somebody who's just tired of the situation. And over here, I took too, way too long to kind of let it go. Yeah, it's about a problem. It's about a problem that nobody can uh, seek advice on because he's already supposed to be, you know, a foremost authority, right? You know, if you, right? And so, yeah, a mentor, like a teacher and things like that. Queen of Cups, let's get a card on the Queen of Cups. And let's see, we have Five of Pentacles. Somebody gets left out, see? That's what I said show show let's see what else and let's get a card here we have the house wow that's a relationship yeah relationship gets left out here and the staircase because a choice was made a choice in love the staircase i like to call it the two of doors right there's two doors right it's a 22 it's a four so somebody makes a a, a choice here for their stability for their happiness for their peace of mind for their, yeah, they just want to be happy in their life, and something is left out right here. It looks really like a relationship. And you know, like I said, the Libra full moon, right? And so let's have a look here. Let's get one card on uh, on the King of Cups there. Let's get a card on him. King of Wands. So there could be a water sign or a fire sign here. Aries Leo Sag uh, for, you know, the water element. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there could be, uh, mm -hmm. and wow, and you know, with the King of Wands showing up, it can be, like I said, a fire sign, here's Leo, the strength card, but this can also be about, I want to live my life on my terms, the King of Wands is about, I want to live according to my passion and my desires, and you know, what inspires me, uh, right, yeah, Mm -hmm. And so in the near future, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, he's already been through a lot. He has, but he says, hey, uh, nobody said life was going to be easy. So he's got a bandage on his head and he says, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. The Nine of Wands is like, I'm taking a leap of faith even though I've been beat, beat up real bad. Like, I'm still going for my dreams. I'm going to be resilient. And, you know, whoever comes is going to get this wand upside their head, right? He's got nine of them too, right? He's trying to make it to the 10 and uh, which, you know, in this reading is, you know, uh, in this deck here or, you know, is it's about laying down a burden, right? That's really what it's about. And here we have the strength card. This is the courage to be resilient in order to heal something. Uh, there's a major reflection here and let's get some cards. Let's see what we got. And yeah, we have the swans. They call this the heart and here are these two swans and this talks about having a relationship for eternity because the swans mate for life yes they do they said you better keep yourself nice because we're getting married forever right yeah don't give me any of this baloney later on <laughs> and excuse me we have the fish and the strain card this is the courage to 
Really choose somebody who is part of your tribe. Yeah, that's what that's about. Somebody, your soul tribe, uh, you know, your, I don't know, your, you know, kind of somebody on the same page as you. They like the same things or maybe you guys are both kind of witty and, you know, uh, maybe you really like each other's hu humor. Maybe you play tennis together. Whatever it is, birds of a feather flock together and so do those fish, right? They're all rainbow trout. And this could be the King of Pentacles right here. This could be the Knight of Cups, uh, the Swan, of course, right? The Swans. And down here, we have the Four of Swords and the Whip. So somebody is stressed out here that they're not going to have their heart. They're, they're really the, the one that they're really in love with. That's what this reading's about. We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much for joining me. It's really a cool reading. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, Capricorn. Get your psychic reading. Get your roadmap to your true potential, and I call this your natal chart. Yeah, very cool. It is uh, showing you so much uh, that you really don't, a lot, most of it you don't know about yourself. And uh, some of it you might know a little bit, but just you didn't maybe understand it in its full context. Yeah, uh, and some of it is, it's just all great. It really is. Thanks so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell in order to receive my notifications. <laughs> Thanks so much.